visited Air It Out Radio. You had girls, 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 girls. And how did that go? Tell us about it. How did it go? It was great. Hold up, hold up, hold up. They may not know what girls, girls, girls. Tell them what that is and what it's about. Tell them what the folks do. Girls, girls, girls is my one woman play that uh, I wrote and I'm starring in. And I play 10 characters and it's all about uh, kind of looking at how black women are perceived in the media, in history. Um, and it premiered off Broadway in November um, in the United Solo Festival. Uh huh, uh huh. So I believe it was about 40 international solo performances. Wow. Wow. And you had it down all by yourself. I love you guys. But last time I came out, Noelle Gusani. Yes. Yes. My Noelle Gusani. Yes. Yes. Noelle was here, um, the director of the play, and. We from there we've been just collaborating and working more and building the, the brand and the net and everything like that. That's a bit, yeah. So now because you had such a wonderful showing and people appreciating this particular um creation that came from you and your awesome writer slash director, you guys are going on tour. We are <laughs> Get 
generated towards that type of music. Yeah. So there's three words, clean it up. Exactly. Clean it up. Clean it up. Because yes. the messages that are constantly, constantly, constantly going out, whether it's the airwaves or it's, at, or it's an actual video or even YouTube, you know, some women that are that are that are weak and they're you know not as strong, you know as you are or mm -hmm. or as, or as, as, as we, we are, are or our friends you know, right. on air or our our, our uh, film girl Kyla. Right. You know she is a woman, a Leo right. and woman, so and hear her roar. Okay. Or the women that aren't as strong, you know they will fall victim to the stereotypes. And what you're doing is absolutely wonderful, and we are so proud of you. Yes. Because you came to us when it was in conception, and now you're birthing yes. it out into the world. And that's what we're doing. It's my baby. I know. I know. You know what? You know what? You know what? So, babe, so we're the godmothers. Yes, we are. We have a <laughs> Very 
January 9th. Um, that's premiering. Uh, you can get your tickets at, on BAM's website. I believe they're twelve dollars. Okay. And it'll feature a, sc a screening as well as um, a director's talk. I afterwards. like that. Nice. So shout out to those directors yes. that have made you be a part of this production. That's right. Now that's one. That's one. Yes. The second one yes. actually just premiered last night. Oh. We made it. Yes. Oh. But what was it? What was the name it's, of it? It's a film called Cold War Children. Cold War Children. Cold War Children. Okay. Children. And it's about um, Muslim, uh, African Muslim kids growing up um, in America and kind of our reactions to um, terrorism and just culturally growing up here. Okay. Um, I guess post war, post 9 11. Okay. So, um, dealing with stereotypes and things like that yes. and trying to adjust into the American. Um, so that was directed by uh, Marcus Castillo. Okay. And uh, it premiered. Last night. Wow. <laughs> so <laughs> when can we find it? Yeah. Well, is it in circulation? When is it again? It's gonna. He's sending it out to festivals. Okay. So Does he have a website? <laughs> <laughs> but the um the a trailer is coming all out right. soon. Mm -hmm. So and all of that will be on my website. And you know so. what? Because you are a family member, when you get this information, you can always come back and air it out. Well, air it out. Because you are a family member.